Greetings from Raleigh, North Carolina, and welcome in to Dell Softball Stadium on the campus of NC State University for game number two of a doubleheader here in this very important early ACC. Full count, here's the payoff. And this is outside, so Edgman begins game number two the way Throw down the second. Not going to get Edgman this time, and she will move over to third as the throw from the catcher sails into the outfield. The short over to first in time for out number one. Checked her swing, and that will drop for an RBI single. A little blooper that brings in the first run of the ball game here in game number two of this doubleheader. And she hit the ball fairly hard last game and was unable to get a base hit going 0 for 5 with the walk, but sometimes that's just the way the game goes. A check, excuse me, swing ends up falling in for a base hit, whereas a barreled ball ends up, ends up being an out. But nonetheless, first with one out, a rainmaker into the clouds and down into the glove of Michaela Marbury for the second out. So Dominique is retired, brings up Matt. one -oh count, two outs, one on. That will get away from the catcher. Four pitches and a walk from Carly Maxton. And Maxton loads the bases. The Yellow Jackets to just one run here in the first. And she gets out of a bases loaded jam. NC State gives up just one run. ACC series. 34 strikeouts on the season and 29 walks for Nelvin. Make it 30 walks. As she puts the lead. Seventh inning to send us to overtime, and to extra innings rather, and that's gonna be Marbury moving into scoring position as she swipes second easily. No throw offered by S.B. Allen. Diving stab, what a play by the second baseman, Tiffany Dominique. There's a reason why Softball America and late in the game when we were in extra innings when NC State grounded out into an inning ending double play. They Big cut, swing and a miss, strike three. Strike three called, back-to-back -back strikeouts for Blake, Blake Nelliman as in center fielder. Right back to Maxton, over to first. So Vukadinovic is retired. Wait, and it's been, you know, she's been here since the very beginning. So this team's only going to continue to get better and better. It's just a matter of cleaning up the cleaning up the plays that should be made on a regular basis. Have you in? It's going to be a tough play, but made nicely by Michaela Marbury. It's short to cut down Ooh. this the victory. Right at Edgman. So one day, as we get later in the evening, third strikeout of the game. And it's a two out walk for Michelle Torpy. Nelliman, ahead in the count, nothing in two. Gets another strikeout. For one in this game is Allen. She was 0 for 3 in the first. Grounds one over to short. 
Marbury is there. Good throw over to first. And a nice pick there by Michelle Charpy too. Makes the plays as they come to her because, you know, she's the shortstop here for NC State. You know, she started as a freshman here as a sophomore. So, I mean, she's going to be the NC State shortstop, shortstop and that is a, a day. Both in the box and in the field, and that is launched deep and out of here. Tiffany Dominique connects for Georgia Tech, and the Yellow Jackets have their first home run of the weekend. It's a two-run jack for Dominique who barreled up on some pitches in the first, and boy, did she get a hold of this one right in the wheelhouse. Yeah, that's the thing about a rise ball. If you don't get it to a certain point fast enough, it stays in, in, the pat, in the eye path of the batter for a very long time, and that can be the end result. I mean, she was robbed of a home run from Tori Inslee. He was over at third in the first game. Out at first is Madison Dobbins to nothing. Georgia Tech with the lead. A little flare could be trouble, but no. Goins charging in, makes the catch for the final. Here in the second game of a twin bill. A little flare could be trouble, and it will drop. So leadoff runner is aboard, and shortstop two for that matter. It's more than just playing the infield and making sure you're fielding grounders, but it's, you know, make, there's an opportune time for the Wolfpack. Double play opportunity here for the Jackets, and they get it as they go around the horn, the five. State could potentially not get anything here after something that looked very promising. Sharply hit. And a run will score off the bat of Taylor Inslee. No chance for Mallory Black there. As Inslee just tattooed that pitch from Nelliman. Take a look. That's why they call it the hot corner, right? They do, and it, it took a really high bounce off, off the ground. As sharp as Mallory Black is. Gonna be a tough play for Saleo. Long throw over. And they are safe at the corners with two. Uh, on the bag when she made the catch. Yep, she yep. was pulled off. Jen Saleo, any way you slice it. And the call is out at first. Even count, two and two. And that is gonna be dropped into left field for a single. Getting over there quickly to keep it a single is Tori Inslee, top of the fourth. Base. The number nine batter, Jen Saleo, who flying out to left her first time up. Just a, that's just, a, that's a tough thing to you know, already play, you know, 14 full innings and still have a ways to go in the day. Edgman is hit by the pitch and Big strike out there for Wexelman. That ball is hit deep to left, and that is a grand slam. Clearing them all. There's that crooked number the Yellow Jackets were looking for. Mallory Black. Breaks it open as Georgia Tech takes a six-run lead here in the fourth. Georgia Tech has been known this season for hitting the home run ball. They didn't have any in the first game, but they have got two here. All six runs 
or six of the seven runs that have come through today have been with with the home run. Form position, I believe the number was 12 runners left on base in the first game, just unable to, to get the big timely hit when necessary. But they've done it here in game two. Goodwin makes the play over at third. Had her team in the thick of it. It was a nail biter in game number one. And was able to get the leadoff walk. That ball is hit deep, but short of the track is Ella Edgman to make the catch for the first out. Dale Softball Stadium, the way it's howling out right now, you're not sure if it'll get out or not. Another rainmaker. This time. Drifting over into right center to make the catch is Ella Edgman. The Yellow Jackets put that crooked number up that they were looking for. Tacking on four runs in that inning to push their lead to seven to one. Slapped over to second, handled by Lambrick. And two down quickly. Some nice barehanded grabs on some foul balls in game number one. She, you could throw her into, into a game right now. I mean, she wouldn't let you down. Four so far have Georgia, has Georgia Tech not been able to score. That's just continuing to put pressure on teams. Safe at first. That was a tough play for Marbury. She has the ability to run it out of, out of the ballpark. Three home runs already on the season. Wind blowing out to the left. Oh, Grabbed her to second. And Lambrick is there. Inslee. High pop up into right. And making the catch in foul, foul territory. And Marbury thought she had the free pass, but she has rung up instead. You know, 17 innings in a single day. Oh, and taking a hit right to the side there that ultimately sent NC State and Georgia Tech into extra innings. Laces one to short, and Saleo short-handed over there gets the East. Aisha Wexelman in the circle. To face the top of the order for Georgia Tech, and there is another base hit for Ella Edgman and another way to find her. Lays off that pitch and will take first on the walk. Second, nobody out. Chance for two. They'll get the runner at second, and that's all. Back in the third inning. Gets a runner in and move. Strike three called for the third out of the inning, but Georgia Tech puts a runner in for her and just continued to throw well in the circle and, and Ensco and Wexelman, they matched Georgia Tech pitch for pitch through the entire first game. And that's got a runner aboard down by seven runs here for the Wolfpack. Chance to get the double up and Mangini does it. So two outs now. A weak grounder to short and Saleo is there down go the pack one two three lead off walk been eight walks so far little flare in the center base hit for connelly slap to short Get the lead runner 
over at third. Nicely done there by Michaela Marbury. And a run added last inning. High fly out. Looking to clinch this series on the road. And a strikeout. Room to make the play. Nicely done by the first baseman. That's another. If you're only averaging giving up a run in a two game series. A little grounder back to the pitcher, Chandler Dennis. Two outs. Mount on Sunday, find a way to salvage the series. And there it is, the swing and a miss. And the strikeout, down go the Wolfpack, one, two, three, to end this ball game. Georgia Tech wins eight to one, and they will clinch the series with a chance to sweep Brantley on Sunday. It was a great job today by Georgia Tech winning both games of these double headers.